BitTensor itself is fundamentally changing the economics of AI in terms of how you really think about scaling things, right? I mean, BitTensor is really changing the ground rules or the playbook for how AI is incentivized itself and also in terms of how it's governed and accessed. And additionally, in terms of how it improves and how it gets better. It's just multidimensional. There's many aspects of what BitTensor changes. Yeah, to use my example, let's say I was creating an AI business on my own without the help of BitTensor. I would have to hire a bunch of software developers. I'd have to store all these videos on AWS. I'd have to get a bunch of NVIDIA GPUs. And then my developers would have to write software to do frame by frame analysis of these videos, run them through various neural networks so I could categorize, oh, here's all the bullet wound guys. Here's all the heart attack guys. So you would have to figure out all the context. And so maybe I would need like a dozen really high quality, even five high quality programmers is going to cost me a couple million a year. Then I have to develop a front end and an interface, you know, so that people can access this AI model. 